And that's his finals. Leon rushed for 190 yards and two touchdowns against one of the state's top-rated teams. In 89, Neil rushed for 1,764 yards while averaging 10.5 yards per carry. This season, after seven games, Neil is averaging 12.1 yards per carry, top in the CIS of instruction, a statistic that draws rave reviews from just about everyone. Neil is an athlete, what he does shows what he is, uh, averaging in, in the competition play last year, 10.5 yards per carry for the season, and that's including the playoffs against some of the best teams in the country. Uh, He's just a, an awesome runner. His quickness that I've never seen. I've never seen. The athletic ability, he should be a gymnast. Uh, he's tough. Most of his yards are inside. We don't run the ball outside very much. A lot of people are surprised to hear that. Uh, and I think the reason he's as good as he is is that he's a tireless worker. He works real hard in the weight room. He's a, a great practice player. He's an inspiration to the other kids out on the field. So, uh, you know, you put hard work and, and a lot of God-given ability together, and uh, he's been lucky to have some good players around him, and, and uh, he's awesome. I think he's the best running back in the state of California. So, you know, he's, he's one of those two exceptional runners that uh, they come around once every uh, 20, 30 years in, in regards to his speed and his agility. He's got an uncanny balance. Uh, the young man has great personal vision. He's able to see people um, and make adjustments to it. It's almost, it looks like he changes right in, in, um, in mid-air and direction. And that's what makes him a great high school runner. Yeah. Still kind of safe in his run because, you know, he'll always get the yards even if there's no block in there. He'll always like, work his way out of it and make a gain out of nothing. Despite being an outstanding athlete and team leader, Leon is easygoing and unselfish, the consummate team player. As a player, I feel like I have to um, take a role. Um, whatever my team or whatever the game wants me to do, you know, that's what I feel I have to do. Whether it's on offense or defense or blocking, that's what I feel, you know, I have to do. It's not just carrying the ball, but, you know, I just feel that I have to... Um, do whatever the players ask him to do. What about the moves? I mean, the shifting, the 360 spins at full speed, uh, the speed to drive, you know, the whole shot. I mean, you know, it's an orthodox runner. Whatever takes place during the game, that's what I do. You know, if the defenders open to pursue, I'll cut back. If they stop me, then I'll try to do anything by spinning, cutting, cutting back or anything. It's just whatever the defenders do. That's what I try to do opposite. To go along with his great physical ability, Leon is equally great in the classroom. We're really proud of what Leon has done in the classroom. Uh, I think that he has really set an example for all athletes and uh, all the students here at Penman High School. I think he's going to be one of those individuals that's going to have a great impact on our school and athletics for some time to come. He's actually one of those individuals that's really made the transition from being successful in the area of athletics to the classroom. And uh, for me, he is one of those model students that says what it's all about. He has about a 3.6 CPA, and he is ranked in top 16, 17 in his class, and his class size is about 500 students. I really try hard in all my classes, but I know that in order for me to play football, I have to have good grades, and, and grades come first. That's, that's the one thing my mother has taught me. You know, you can't play football unless you have good grades. And um, I um, just try my hardest in the grades, and it pays off. Neil's outstanding performance on the field and in the classroom has caught the eye of college recruiters from coast to coast, which doesn't surprise area coaches. He, he has a tendency to perform so well and have such a good game, and he, he brings people up to his level. Uh, I think Leon has those natural qualities I don't think you can really coach. He just has the, the peripheral vision to be able to see when to make the right cut. And I think that's a, that's a sign of all great backs, no matter if they're in a high school level or a pro level. And he's got the outside ability to play Division One. I. I make a lot of my mind about that. I've seen some, some running backs that are in Division One that aren't as good as him. Like I said, he can run as fast forward as he, you know, sideways as he can forward. So, uh, you know, he's going to get a clean shot on him. He's gone up the sideline, or he's cut back across the field to make that move that just leaves the defenders in the track. So he's got he's everything I think you need to be the Division one. Despite all the attention focused on Neil, he remains humble, always crediting his teammates for his success. The word I is noticeably missing from his vocabulary, 
and he sends negative talk about comparison between this private team and the championship teams of 88 and 89. People might say that this team isn't as good as it last this team or the year before, but deep down we think we are. We think we might be even better. Does this motivate your team? Yes, I think it does because everybody seems to count us out. Well, Paramount isn't as good as last year. Well, we want to prove that we are. Neil plans to attend a major university next fall, and with his grades, the country is open to his talent. Leon says he'll make his collegiate decision later, but right now, his focus is helping Paramount win its third consecutive football championship. I feel once we get there, um, we're capable of holding our own. You know, anything can happen down south, so all it takes is one game and you're a bad game and you're out. Mm -hmm. So I feel that if we if we set up our ability, we're capable of doing three teams. Right. And I think we can do that. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of hard work and and determination. That's what it's gonna have to take.